Hey guys, Pedro V here. Now in this video, I want to talk about September 24th, 2022. There has been a lot of speculation talks about this date and the reason for it, or should I say reasons for it, of this German guy talking about this date being one to remember. I believe it was actually mistranslated into something that's not, which I believe was corrected. Frau Präsidentin, meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, liebe Kolleginnen und Kollegen. Dieser 24. September 2022 wird uns allen als ein Tag im Gedächtnis bleiben, von dem wir später einmal sagen werden, ich weiß noch genau, wo ich war, als ich die erste Nachricht vom Krieg in der Ukraine gehört und die ersten Bilder davon gesehen habe. Unsere ersten Gedanken in diesen Minuten galten und sie gelten unverändert bis heute dem ganzen Volk der Ukrainer. There's also talks about The Simpsons season 24 episode 9 about America falling and an EMP attack. What's WROL? It means without the rule of law, anarchy, the end of civilization, coming soon to an America near you. America can't collapse. We're as powerful as ancient Rome. What would you do in the case of an EMP? Electromagnetic pulse. A burst of radiation that knocks out every electrical system in the country. There's even talks about there being a rapture date, which I don't believe it is. There are many things going on which people are trying to connect their own dots. We know there is a plan to collapse economies and has been for a while, from Europe to America and elsewhere. We are hearing about this new currency coming out in December, I believe. I think, you know, my mother had an expression, out of everything terrible, something good will come if you look hard enough for it. I think this presents us with some significant opportunities to make some real changes. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As one of, as the, uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order. and. That hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to, there's going to be a new world order out there. And we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. So anyway, I'm going to hush up, Mary, fire away. But one thing for sure is something is brewing. Do I believe it will happen on this date? No. Do I believe it will happen soon? Yes. I can feel it. I know a lot of you guys can feel it too, and something is in the air. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Paul says, take a stand, withstand and then stand in the evil day there's also talks about biblical prophecy since israel has now read heifers so now they're talking about this third temple they're in the process of it they're trying to fulfill this prophecy this biblical times that's coming to play here for just a moment we're going to be focusing right over there they, they're actually here the red heifers they are live in israel everybody Come, 
There's also talks about the Euphrates River being dried out, and that will bring out these four angels. There is going to be destruction. Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. The Euphrates has been the cradle of civilization in West Asia. The river has been the lifeline for millions in Iraq and Syria for thousands of years. But now it has sunk to a historic low, sparking the region's worst water crisis in years. لم لم تحدث فمعظم علامات الساعة الصغرى 90% من علامات الساعة الصغرى جديدة خرجت اليوم بعد انحسار نهر الفرات على وهي بزوغ مغابر أو آثار أو شيء من هذا القبيل انظروا إلى هذا الدرج لهذه الحفرة النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام يقول لا تقوم الساعة حتى تظهر آثار وقرى أثرية قديمة تظهر على نهر الفرات أو بعد أن ينحسر نهر الفرات so we have many things going on and I believe it is because the spiritual warfare is intensifying and that is also why people are starting to pick up on things and feel something that is coming. So we just have to be very vigilant about these things coming into play. The whole process, because everything is changing, things are ramping up. Things are moving forward and we have to pick up the paste and keep going as well. Now a powerful earthquake struck western Mexico, killing at least one person, damaging buildings and knocking out power there. The magnitude 7.6 quake hit Monday about 300 miles northwest of Acapulco. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued an alert for Mexico near the coast. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who are very fearful about all this talks. You shouldn't be. We are of faith. We have to be non-fearful of these things and or of dates we shouldn't even be putting up because, you know, a lot of times I do see that things don't happen as people say they do. You know, maybe there's one time, two times, or maybe even three, you know, where certain dates are ritualistic. You know, there's very subliminal messages to numerology and into that spectrum of things. So there is not always a connection, but there is sometimes something deeper from what's behind what is occurring. We are going to begin this morning with Hurricane Fiona intensifying as it makes its way through the Atlantic Ocean, already devastating Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic and still gathering more strength. Here's what we know right now. Fiona is currently a Category 3 hurricane with sustained winds upwards of 115 miles an hour. On Puerto Rico, more than 90% of customers have no power and 66% are without running water. Victor Okendo is in Puerto Rico for us this morning. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Michael. We are in Toa Baja. It's a town not too far away from San Juan, and you can see what it looks like two days after Hurricane Fiona made landfall here. You've got this creek behind me. It is rushing. You see what the street looks like with water coming right up over the sidewalk here. And for the residents who live along this street, water is still creeping right up to their doorsteps on this five year anniversary of Hurricane Maria. All of this feels all too familiar. So we just have to be open minded when these things happen. We also have to watch out for spreading fear. We have to have a good positive message 
remain strong in prayer and in our faith. So I just wanted to quickly highlight this stuff and just give a little of my own, you know, talk about it because people have been asking me and they're wondering what's going to happen on this date. You know, I'm kind of scared, you know, I'm kind of thinking about it. And, you know, I just had to, I just had to come out and say something because there's a lot going on. I'm not going to lie. There is a lot going on and a lot of it is biblical and a lot of stuff is a fear, confusion and much more. So we're just going to keep it going and we aren't going to be drawn into this energy of things which are going to make people, you know, question us after by putting on these dates. When nothing happens, then, you know, you kind of lose credit there. But we always have to be open-minded. Just give that awareness. That's not a bad thing because we're trying to give warnings, trying to warn people, trying to be prepared in any way you can, which you should be in the word of God. So I will end that there and you guys let me know what you think. I'm pretty sure I missed a few things as well. So you guys can mention that in the comment section, whatever else is going on, because I will make another video show more in detail of all this stuff coming into play. Like the video, share it, comment. With that being said, have faith, remain vigilant, and God bless you all.